hi friends welcome to all in this video we are going to discuss about physical layer and network media friends before coming to this topic if you are watching our channel first time or not yet subscribed consider subscribing also don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video coming back to our topic first of all we will see types of uh, connections if we need to communicate to a network a physical connection to be established to the local network this network connection can be established using either a wired or wireless connection there are uh, devices which offers both wired and wireless connectivity like integrated service routers that is IRS which are used by individuals or in homes now we will see NICs NICs stands for Network Interface Cards. NIC is used to connect devices to the network. Ethernet NICs usually used to get a wired connection. WLAN that is wireless LAN NICs are used to connect to the network using wireless connection. Now we will come to a physical layer. The first layer of the OSI reference model is physical layer. The physical layer transports the bits over the media as an electrical, optical or radio wave signals. And the destination node physical layer retrieves these signals from the media and to decapsulate to their bits representations. Now we will see physical layer media. We have three basic forms of network media such as copper cable, signals are patterns of electrical pulses, next is fiber optic cable, signals are patterns of light then wireless signals are patterns of microwave transmissions now we will see some of the physical layer standards the physical layer standards are implemented in hardware and they are governed by many organizations such as international organization for standardization that is iso telecommunications industry association electronic industries association TIA bar EIA, then International Telecommunication Union that is ITU, then American National Standards Institute ANSI, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers IEEE. Now we will see the term bandwidth. Bandwidth is the capacity of a medium to carry data over a network. Usually different physical media will support different rates of bits transfer. And here we can see bandwidth is measured in kilobits per second, megabits per second, and gigabits per second. Now we will go to the topic network media. First of all, we will see copper media. Three main types of copper media used in networking, such as UTP, that is unshielded t-shirt pair, STP, that is shielded t-shirt pair, and coaxial. First of all, we will see UTP. UTP, unshielded twisted pair cabling is the most common networking media. UTP cabling terminated with the RJ45 connectors used for interconnecting network house with intermediate networking devices such as switches and routers. UTP cable consists of four pairs of color-coded wires that have been twisted together. The twisting of wires protect against signal interference from other wires. Now we will see types of UTP cable. We have straight through, crossover and rollover. First one is a straight through, the most common type of networking cable. It is commonly used to interconnect a host to a switch and a switch to a router. Next is crossover. A cable used to interconnect similar type of devices, for example, to connect a switch to a switch, a host to a host, or a router to a router. And rollover cable, a Cisco proprietary cable used to connect a workstation to a router or a switch console port. Here we can see the color combination of a straight through cable. Here on the both side, uh, we are using the color standard EIA bar TIA T568A. And here we can see the color combination. 
uh, to pin 1 green white pin 2 green pin 3 orange white pin 4 blue pin 5 blue white pin 6 orange pin 7 brown white pin 8 brown Yes, if you do this uh, color combination on both sides of the cable, uh, we will get a straight through cable. Here we can see again a straight through uh, using another color standard that is EIA bar TIA T568B. Here both sides uh, we are uh, using T568B. And here we can see the color combinations. Uh, pin 1, orange, white. Pin 2 orange, pin 3 green white, pin 4 blue, pin 5 blue white, pin 6 green, pin 7 brown white, pin 8 brown. Now we will go to crossover. Here we can see one side uh, we have to do with the, the standard T568A and the other side uh, we have to do with the T568B. Then we will get a crossover cable. And in the picture, we can see uh, the color combinations uh, on both sides. Now we'll go to the next point. Testing UTP cables parameters such as a wire map, cable length, signal loss uh, due to attenuation, then crosstalk. Now we will go to STP that is a shielded twisted pair. It provides better noise protection than UTP cabling. STP cable is more expensive than UTP cable. Here we can see the structure of STP. Uh, we can see a outer jacket. Then we can see a metallic foil shield. Then we can see a foil shield which protects our t-shirt pairs. Then we can see finely t-shirt pairs. Now we will go to coaxial cable. Coaxial cable consists of a copper conductor used to transmit the electronic signals. A layer of flexible plastic insulation surrounding a copper conductor. Then the insulating material is surrounded in a metallic foil that acts as the second wire in the circuit and as a shield for the inner conductor. The second layer or shield also reduces the amount of outside electromagnetic interference. Then the entire cable is covered with a cable jacket to prevent minor physical damage. Now we will go to fiber optic. Optical fiber cable transmits data over longer distances and at higher bandwidths than any other networking media. Bits are encoded on the fiber as a light impulses. This fiber optic cabling is now being used in four types of industry. Enterprise networks used for backbone cabling applications and interconnecting infrastructure devices. Then fiber to the home, used to provide always own broadband services to homes and small businesses. Then it is used in long haul networks, used by service providers to connect countries and cities. Then submarine cable networks, used to provide reliable high-speed, high-capacity solutions in undersea environments. Finally, we will go to wireless media. Wireless media carry electromagnetic signals that represent the binary digits of data communications using radio or microwave frequencies. Wireless does have some areas of concern, including coverage area, interference, security, shared medium. Right, so that's all in this topic that is physical layer and network media. Dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, if you like our videos, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Stay tuned for the technical videos. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.